Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in for my video today. Um, I apologize if the lighting's a little bit different. It actually got really dark and stormy outside just now, so I kind of had to switch around the way I was sitting here and change my light, but um, this isn't a tutorial, so it shouldn't matter too much. I wanted to do a video about my makeup bag that I take to work. Um, in case you're not familiar with me and my videos, um, I am a morning news anchor at my local station, so um, while I do my makeup at home I also take my makeup a certain amount of it to work with me just to kind of touch up before the show and uh, that kind of thing so I have certain things that I always have in my makeup bag that I think are really good for anyone to have and then just those other items that you know apply to that day's look so uh, the makeup bag that I have is really cute I've been using it for a couple years now my sister actually got it for me from I believe it was Urban Outfitters and it has a couple handles here it's about this big and it has kind of like a paper doll theme all over it kind of like models and they yeah they look like little paper dolls with their outfits and stuff so it's really cute it's by um, loop I guess is the brand so uh, really like this bag and it opens up and it has several sections to it it's got this big compartment there it's got a center compartment that that holds, you know, like say your mascara tubes and lip glosses and stuff and then your brushes on the other side and then it has like two different compartments right here where you can zip them off. I don't usually zip them but to hold other products. So in my big compartment are a lot of things that I don't mess with. I will take them to work every day regardless and a big one is my Tresemme uh, Trade 2 Extra Hold Hairspray. Um, this is not the super tiny size that I'll sometimes take in my purse but um, this gets you through quite a few uses. Um, I don't go through these too often because I do do my hair at home as well but hairspray is one of those things you always want for like a finishing touch so um, this is a good size it fits easily in this bag I love that I can actually keep my hair items in my makeup bag and be good to go so I've got that um, I also carry with me you know one of these little rat tail combs something that if I need to tease up certain areas of my hair again before I go on I have that and then I have this little end here where you can kind of you know boost it up a little bit so that's super valuable for me I always carry Q-tips and uh, at your local drugstore you can probably find these little travel packs of Q-tips. This keeps them really nice, keeps them from getting all like frayed out, you know, like if you just have a random Q-tip floating around in your bag and it stops looking like anything you want to use after a while. So this is nice, just a little travel pack of those. Um, I always carry an eyelash curler because I know you're really supposed to curl your lashes before you put your mascara on and I do that but I mean it's the ultimate perk up you know once you've already had your mascara on for a few hours and then you go like that and it's like okay you know you just got to be really careful about it I think. Um, other things, I've got some band-aids. I don't injure myself too often on the job, but the occasional blister does happen. Um, I've got some nail glue. This happens to be from Revlon, but just, you know, it's something there in case if I'm wearing, like, fake nails like this on my fingers or toes, uh, that I can take care of that. I've got some eye drops as well. Got to see what I'm saying there on the teleprompter. Um, I carry these a lot, these Listerine pocket packs. Um, these are so great. I don't know if you've seen these before. Oh geez, I just had my last one today actually. This is empty, but um, they're just like little strips of sort of a film basically that dissolves on your tongue or the roof of your mouth and it's minty and it doesn't, you know, stay there long. Like I always drink, get up and drink coffee in the morning and I really hate actually the taste in my mouth after I stop drinking coffee and I feel like I will gross people out with my breath afterwards so I always want something minty um, gum you know I obviously can't chew that for long but as I'm getting ready right before I go on this is nice because it dissolves super quick and it really gets your breath you know nice I kind of don't want to have offensive breath so um, another thing I always take is my Revlon makeup eraser pen I think I've mentioned this in like my quick fixes video for summer um, but this is basically a little pen with like makeup remover in it so if any um, eyeliner or anything is faded before I go on and I need to correct it I have that I use that in conjunction with the q-tips I also always have my Maybelline mineral power uh, finishing veil because I find that this is great 
to use with a, a concealer brush and kind of dab it under whatever my eye look is. And like for example, I'm filming this, this is at the end of my day and I don't have any eyeliner like dragging down on my face or at all. So this is a nice kind of like oil absorbing, good finishing touch type powder. Um, I also have a Clinique powder in here as well, a matte powder, which I'll sometimes use, but I don't usually have to end up layering that on too much. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, I got one of these Mary Kay retractable brushes if I need a really fluffy brush for something, and that travels nicely because it's got the nice little cap on there. So, yeah, that's basically the stuff that I always take with me, so it's going to be in my makeup bag consistently no matter what start putting that back now and then you know as for my makeup items that it kind of varies whether or not I take them I always take a bronzer or two that I'm using for the day for example today it was the Rimmel natural bronzer and the oh gosh dropped it <laughs> and the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil matte bronzer I mean this is not stuff that everybody's gonna need to take in their makeup bag for work but if I'm getting ready to go on the air these are good things for me to have for a touch-up um, you know I'm not gonna I never take my foundation with me or really even a concealer with me I've already done that and any kind of touch-up I need is maybe something to just make me look a little more vibrant a little more awake on air so blushes as well for today that was the covergirl cheekers in golden pink as kind of a contour and the one in plumberry glow which is <clears throat> excuse me a little bit brighter pink for the apples of the cheeks, so that's good. Um, got a few eyeshadows. I always tend to touch up my eyeshadow look. Um, today I was using my CoverGirl Quad and Country Woods, super light and neutral, and then I deepened up the crease with kind of a combination of CoverGirl's Brown Smolder, which is a matte brown, and my Makeup Forever kind of sparkly black that looks insane, but I promise it's just kind of like a dark black, nothing really to it. <laughs> uh, other things I take, I take mascaras with me because sometimes I'll want to go over it, sometimes I don't, but a great like finishing touch mascara. Uh, great mascara all around, but I do like using it as a finishing touch is the L'Oreal Double Extend. Um, this it has the white end that's like a primer so if this was all you were using you'd use the white end and then you'd use the traditional mascara end as like your finishing touch but it's super lengthening and it works really well on top of like as a second coat to almost any mascara this black end does it really lengthens and I like it on top of about anything naturally I do run out of that end before I run out of this one but it's a great like kind of top coat you know really make your give your give a wow effect to your lashes so I like that I usually take a mascara I usually take my white eyeliner because whether or not white eyeliner is something you like to put on your waterline just on a day-to-day -day basis for me it works wonders on the air because it makes my eyes look so much more awake there's something about just doing that waterline it's like I don't think people we're, we're not in high def right now we're not to the point where I think anybody could actually pick it out that it was on there but it really functions to brighten up the eye area so I um, use the Rimmel soft coal in pure white so really cheap really good product there um, I'll always take my lip products that I'm using for the day so for that like I was using my Mac um, lipstick and craving today pretty berry shade and usually a lip liner I'll take with me, um, Jordana Easy Liner in Plush Plum, and then a lip gloss, MAC Lip Gloss in Seal My Heart. So um, that's kind of a sparkly one. Yeah, pretty. So I always take whatever products I use, and that changes on a daily basis. All this stuff that I've talked about, I'll use different blushes, different eye products, different lipsticks. Um, there was a lady one time that stopped me, and she was like, what's that lipstick you wear on the air? And I'm thinking... Oh, it could be one, one of about 40, <laughs> but, you know, I tried to figure out which one it might have been based on what outfit I was wearing, but anyway, um, I take my eyeliners as well, even though I don't generally touch them up unless there's been some kind of major issue. Um, today I took my Maybelline Define a Line, which is kind of what I do, smudge out a little bit on the under eye. Um, actually trying out a new little mass, little uh, liner on my upper lash line today. It's look at this mini 
a hard candy liner. It's the Walk the Line Liquid Eyeliner. It's definitely very deep black. I really like it, um, but I'm trying that out today. It came with an eyeshadow I got recently. Um, what else do I have in here? Yeah, that's basically it. I take my lip products, I take some liners in case I need to touch up, and I switch up my blushes and eyeshadow on a daily basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it gives you a little uh, insight into what I do when I get ready for the day. You always have to be prepared. That's something I've learned. You never want to be about ready to go on air and completely missing something that you need so badly. Like you don't want to be without li lipstick. You don't want to be without eyeshadow if you need it. So. Um, it's nice to have that bag kind of prepared so every day it changes just a little bit but at the end of the week I kind of get it all put away where it needs to be for the weekend and then I start fresh on the next week and and switch out products like I said kind of daily so uh, thanks for tuning in guys hope you're having a great week so far and I will talk to you soon bye